Robots Radio presents Previously on Ambrosia Island Where you lock eyes with Pierre As he saw you with the paper in hand That is apparated out of nowhere What are you? He's clearly holding back something Garrison didn't tell you everything I'm not telling you everything either When I think you need to know You'll know. Silly me, it's been a very long day. Terrifying, these uh, glimpses into the abyss. You got family? Yes. I came to start a new life, uh, sell my inventions. I think I have a few things that might help us. The robot is a nice all-purpose thing. As many power sources as he can get charged up, as many tools as he thinks that he can maybe make stuff on the fly. We've got transport to this island, Ambrosia Island or whatever. 5 p.m. being your time frame that the, the plane's going to take off. Whatever you guys need to do today, that's kind of your, your time frame that you're working. Virginia, I got a few things that I need from you. Heavy duty stuff you're asking for, but I'll, I'll, I'll see what I can do. You know? 5 p.m. Don't be late. And uh, now, at the apartment, there is a an immediate silence as Mina and Yearn exit the door, slamming behind them. And we're left with Pierre and Father at the table, coffee, tea, and cognac in hand, with a book between them. And there's silence. Have you found anything yet? I've 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 found what I found, but uh, it's it's not terribly insightful. Uh, let's just keep flicking through this thing. This is a problem of it, a bit of it's waterlogged, which is obviously you know when I was worried about um, Garrison. But do you mind if I? And then he just comes and sits right next to John. That's all right. He'll, okay. John will move like the book into a shareable, looking together mm. sort of thing. So this is the first time that Pierre's actually seen. The pages of the book, I think, up up close. Mm. He's he's been aware that John's been hoarding it in yes. the car yes. and in the safe house. And after last night, he's super curious about what what he's going to see. And I think he's just he's actually a little bit disappointed just to see that it's khaki English mm. <laughs> and and not much else. So he sort of for once he's kind of lost for words. Can you both roll me a d10? Thank you. I rolled a two. Also too. <laughs> right. Um, I mean, it, it's unanimous. This is going to be, you work together quite seamlessly and you spend the next two hours poring over this book. Basically, if you are flicking through, a lot of it is nonsense. There are words that you've never heard of. It's still written in English, but you have no frame of reference for these words. Sentences that are kind of a mixture of contractions, nonsense words, and things that might have some dealing in the occult. So you see names like Hastur. You see names like the Great One. You see an example of a sentence is the Great One will be gone. And then it will go into something completely different. Can you make me um, an occult roll, please, Father? I can. Well, I rolled 66 and my occult is 50. I'm just wondering whether I should spend 16 points of luck or not. It's a whole lot of luck. It's a whole lot of luck. Mm. I'm not going to. Okay. Look, you you can make assumptions, but this it's a whole blamange of different things to do that kind of have a mixture of history, uh, the occult... I think for, for John, these are things that would be interesting normally. Yes. And he would spend time studying should he feel like they were safe to study. Yes. But he's got another person in the room and also the task at hand is to locate where this island is. Yes. It's conditions and, and uh, yeah. what's on that island. As yeah. You, as you converse with one another and as you look through the book, at the end of two hours, you have at least... a. a there are a few kind of mentions, and this is loosely around the original page where you saw the island before and after. There's kind of a loose written anecdotal suggestion of whereabouts the island might be. You feel semi-confident that if at least you have a, a talking with the pilot or whoever is piloting, you can probably find where it is. Is it articulated as like... This position, like these are the star coordinates, or is it um, more contemporary? As in, like this is its like 
northern, eastern. This is its like uh, latitude, latitude and longitude. longitude, or like what it, what you'll see when you approach. Yes, it is. It's more like it's more like corner. It's like you know, you, like sail two days. Yeah, it's like west you know, of traveling of traveling York. north from from London when you pass under the star keep going forward you know mm-hmm. it's it's, it's mm-hmm. that it's that bullshit you know second star on the right and on till morning sort of crap yeah um whereas that you know, bullshit as long as, as long as you kind of leave from the right place you should you sure. should locate it and if you mm. when you correlate that to the map there should be nothing there right the map right. that oh, you the, saw the on world the wall map. The world there map. should yeah. be nothing there and so because of that it's anecdotal like notation and, and that sort of thing where does it it picks up it's it's from london that this like kind of anecdotal thing yeah so it's almost it would be reasonable to assume that the writer of this anecdote is was in london yes hmm. cool 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 and it does suggest it does suggest plane and not boat um it could suggest either it doesn't it just says i mean to traveling. pierre it's uh <laughs> you're going north for two days you what if you just sail on past? You won't. You wouldn't know. You fly above, and you might actually see the fucking island. <laughs> I mean, it was just the fucking that really did it for me. You <laughs> do some things for yourself. <laughs> I suspect it's a it's an average day's travel. So you know, and whatever that is, I presume it's probably sailing. So an average speed of a, a ship, and and assessing that to a boat, uh, to a plane. Comparing the two, uh, it's probably it's probably about you know. I give that example. I don't know. How An much? hour f- to fly. Right? Yeah, 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 yeah. How yeah. fast were planes in the in the thirties? Well, probably faster than significantly faster yeah. than boats. Shit. We yeah. didn't oh, have yeah. uh, safety regulations. <laughs> no, we did not. Well, ground because the and higher you go, tiny. your ground speed increases because mm. okay. going. Hyper. Just directly north from London, pretty much. If, on, if a, you, on a boat, isn't if you, possible. If you, for example, mm. chuck a red line, or just a red line from England to Norway, it's a straight shot. The implication is it's between the two. Yes, mm. mm-hmm. equidistant. Yeah. Okay. You can puzzle it. You can puzzle it yeah, from the can, book. Yeah. You can piece it together. Yeah. Okay. You get, yeah. get ourselves a decently narrow search area. Mm-hmm. Is that right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yes. Okay. And in the well, podcasting well, medium, the visual descriptions are not super helpful. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, they're not. No, they're not. not. I think descriptively, I mean, he's uh, Sean's sort of made it clear that yeah. you guys figure out between you roughly yeah roughly mm-hmm. where to start we, we do it you we, spend two hours on what amounts to kind of poetic ramblings beautiful yeah that you can ascertain that that's the most like that's it's the best shot you have yeah. mm-hmm. yep. if they cool. kind of they don't so much describe london and describe norway yeah. but yeah. both of you come from uh, europe okay. you can you I mean, can make not to get too meta but I, I i suspect we'll be able to find it if we want to because i think I think the story demands we go yeah. there. I feel, like, I feel like it's why I... Yeah. <laughs> Unless I change my mind between yeah. the others, it's called Ambrosia Island. Yeah. Unless it's just called Tony the Chef. <laughs> oh, God, yeah. please. Four, four people get lost in the North Sea and drown. The Isn't end. that deep blue sea? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah, we're, all, we're all on side. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. It might, yeah, yeah, yeah. Otherwise, it, it might be obvious that this might be one of the lesser fleshed out clues that I had in this campaign. <laughs> That's all right. I uh, did my job, and it might it might be like a, a, a last crusade kind of thing where it reveal the poetry reveals itself mm. once you are kind mm. of face to face with the um, the actual kind of fact of it in front of you. Well, you all feel uh, <laughs> if a uh, plane is not an option, then do we have one choice? Well, plane is an option. You uh, can just fly over it to see scout where it is. Uh, misunderstanding a lot of what's going on here. <laughs> You, you have a you have a plane that leaves at five p.m. that the four of you have access to mm. that Mina has organised through her father. It could be we we fly overhead. If we don't see anything, then we make a landing in either mm. Norway or mm. London, and then we try and Find figure out how boat. to get yeah. there mm. by boat. But it, it can't hurt to fly over the top anyway. Yeah, we get a better look at idea of where it is and and see if there's an airstrip and maybe a bit of surveillance. Or maybe the island looks like a big tentacled god. Uh, <laughs> 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 a sorry. big question mark. <laughs> Mr. Hyun, do you do you make the call at any point to uh, Mina, or is there much else that you feel? Uh, uh, I get a bit lost, tinkering, have a bit of spot of make make my dear mum a bit of lunch, speak oh. to the neighbours, make sure that she's going to be Some looked, looked in on. Uh, it's a bit of smoke, herring. Yes. Thank you very much, <laughs> Yoni Bernie. <laughs> Told you not to call me that. <laughs> you'll, you'll always be my little Yoni Bernie. I know, Mama. 
It's okay. <laughs> are, you, are you going to be long? Maybe about a week? Are you going to be okay? Oh, you know me, I'm independent. I know you tried to be, but uh, I will have someone look, at, look in on you uh, anyway, if that's okay. Was oh, that the bill from next door? Yes. I bill. like a bill. Yes. Uh, I'm Italian now. <laughs> <laughs> bill has made, uh, made it clear he likes you too. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, we're getting a weird stepdad <laughs> plot. Yes. <laughs> Maybe a bill will come around a bit more. <laughs> I'm sorry, I know, I just no, He's not <laughs> even much older than I am, you know. Yes. <laughs> anyway, Mama. <laughs> yeah. I'm just trying to love you, Bill. I just. <laughs> just, just let promise, me in. Me, promise me you'll be safe. You know, we come over here for a better life, and now you're off, and I worry about you. You're off and doing your inventions, and I know I don't understand, but... I've got something important to do, Mum. Uh, you know, if uh, if uh, if I can be safe, I will be. I know you always try your I'm best. Welsh. <laughs> I'm not helping, I'm not helping, I'm not helping matters. No. It's like, we go, I need to get out of this, or you're going to ruin my accent for the whole fucking session. <laughs> <laughs> so, yes, eventually, after lunch, after speaking to Bill... No, Bill. <laughs> not doing Bill. <laughs> I want to get to the fucking island today. <laughs> Hello, Yarn. <laughs> Where are you from? <laughs> I'm old. I, 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 I get the nice. I get the phone. And you call the cheers. <laughs> call the cheers and uh, tell her I'm all packed and yeah. ready. Uh, and got Tony, my Tony's leg. the one who picks up, and then Tony <laughs> uh, passes you over to Mina. Calls Mina over. Yeah, you, you finished. I, I have everything I need. Uh, I can't quite anticipate everything we're going to need, but uh, right. hopefully, uh, yes. Okay, I'm on my way. All right. So, Mina, you, you, you make some last passing requests with uh, Virginia, make mm-hmm. sure everything's all sorted. Yep. She says she'll do her best. She'll, she, she actually leaves before you. Yep. Um, you know, she's, she's hustling, bustling, and she's ready to do her calling. Uh, as, she, as she walks out, just, hey, and uh, uh, I know you're reporting to Lucky, but make sure he doesn't skim anything off the side like last time, all right? Yeah, I'll, 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 I'll give him the old ham sandwich otherwise. How about that? You do that, Virginia. That is your specialty. Yeah. All right, I'll see you later. Ciao. <laughs> Did it a son will say I have my son with you? Oh, oh my god. <laughs> Smash <Are> you- cut. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, good man. <laughs> and Mina, uh, you head off to your car, you yep. go uh, pick up Mr. Yearn. Yeah. <laughs> And uh, are the two of you heading off back to your safe house? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's about it's about three p.m. at this point. Is it's cutting towards the end of the day? Um, so if you're heading towards the safe house, unless um, the two of you have anything else that you'd like to do, Father, just before they arrive, mm-hmm. yeah. we've we've kind of we're quite confident in where we're traveling to. And mm. yeah, would you like a uh, a cup of tea, or can I get you a, a sh- shortbread, or mm. it dep- it depends on the. Uh, just, what just I'm a, going to find in the shortbread? Uh, hey, nothing. Just, I mean, I, I sh- assume the Americans have got shortbread. <laughs> Presu- <laughs> I presume. On, uh, you know, you you know what? I can, uh, I can, I think I can get it myself. Oh, all right. Um, did you did you see? How'd you sleep last night? The uh, the our, our Carthus friends was a uh, didn't didn't wake you up or anything? Uh, you know what? Uh, I had the craziest dreams. It's the craziest dreams. I uh, oh, did you? I slept like a baby. What was what was your dream like? It was uh You 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 know I fought in the war. I you do. There was we were betrayed and uh this isn't something that is easily forgotten, you know? He explains he explains a lot to me and uh I uh I you say I look, you try to forget, you know. It's 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 tricky to to trust someone who doesn't share all their secrets. Yeah. Yeah, I would I think exactly that way. Hmm. He gets up and he just walks out and <laughs> makes he goes to put on a pot of coffee. Uh, at this point, uh, Mina and Hyun enter through the door. Well, it's up to you. Do you do you actually come upstairs or are you beeping on the horn for the other two to come down? No, I'll go upstairs. Yep, uh, you head upstairs. Want to make sure everything is whatever they've got that it's packed and you know ready to ready to go. So you'll reconvene in the in the apartment. Hey, so how's everyone's day? I suppose. Well, I've got uh, as much as I could carry in this bag. Uh, perhaps I can make something uh, when we arrive. That yep. might help us. I think that's why Garrison uh, picked me. I'm not uh, quite so good with a gun. Uh, not so deft at punching in the throat. And uh, you seem to know a lot about uh, the uh, strange happenings uh, that these cultists are very uh, 
obsessed with. Mm. So uh, I'm ready to do do my part. Don't forget, the father is also very strong minded. Eh? What a team we are. I don't know what the fuck you two were up to, but uh, if you love birds are finished, we got ammo, we got rations. Have you two packed? Hey, we've not just only packed. We also know where we're going. Great. Mm. So what's the plan? We travel to England and then we keep going, basically. See if we can spot it from the air. Hey, that's the plan. By the time we head over there, it should be day. It should be day. So we should be able to see the island. That's that's. What I've kind of estimated, but if we, if we, if the plane is slow or it might be nice, but it should be, we should be able to see it from the sky. If we can't see it or if we don't see it, what, we land in London and try and get there by boat? Find the closest, we find the, uh, the closest, uh, airstrip that we can. Okay. All right. Well, I'll, uh, make sure the pilot knows. So the four of you, you um, grab everything that you need from the apartment and if you head down to the car, you're going to be making your way to a kind of secure, secluded, what used to be an abandoned airstrip, but is now something that is used quite readily by the Saginarios to import bring and stuff in, export, bring stuff out. <laughs> you know, you know, just the usual. Um, so that, that that's going to be kind of, you know, 20 minutes kind of outside of the city way. Um, so the four of you head there and sure enough, There's a small little plane, enough to fit all of you, and a section for cargo at the back. And there is a pilot that's uh, waiting there. He's already, he's kind of just waiting outside. Very stone-faced, very stoic. He's um, he's one of yours, Mina. He's there to do a job. Hey, (laughs) Jimmy. Yeah. Jimmy, come and stay. (laughs) Where to, boss? (laughs) Ah, Jimmy, you've been here too long. You've forgotten all your Italian already. (laughs) I'm not Italian. What are you then? Doesn't matter. <laughs> I'm pilot. <laughs> <laughs> I appreciate your single mindedness, all right? You are the job, and the job is you. Doesn't matter where I'm from, it matters where I'm going. Where am I going? All right, Father, do you want to uh, let, let our good friend here know where the fuck we are actually going to? I, I pull out a world map and, and show him where we're headed. And so he, he, he with glasses. A, with a red marker on a. On a pe- Paper. Yeah, like you, draw, you you start from the where we are, yes. and then you draw that red line all the way across. Dotted, dotted red dotted. line, yeah. Yep. <laughs> and kind of he get a small plane picture, <laughs> move it across the map, yeah. and he studies it. He studies it, you know, with a with a with a good amount of concentration. And then just goes, I can do that. Great, sounds good. Get your stuff. As an aside, Put he sounds incredibly like he sounds. <laughs> Maybe Lebanese, uh, <laughs> native New Zealand. Um, he, a, he sounds like Cronk to me. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah. from um, <laughs> Patrick from Warburton. Em- 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 <laughs> yep. Hey, yep. Hey, uh, Goose goes hey, uh, poison. <laughs> yep. Yeah. Yep. Um, but he's quite clipped. Yeah. Did yep. my uh, supplies get here? Not yet. Oh fuck. <laughs> We're still quite early, aren't we? By this time, it's close to four. I mean, you can you can wait around or you can go. It's really up to you. Will we'll you wait. stay or will you go? We'll, we'll wait we'll for us. Yeah. 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 With some mm. rations and shit. We need to eat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. We don't you know got, how long we'll be stuck on this oh, goddamn island. Have you guys eaten? <laughs> I know a place. No, I'm kidding. No. <laughs> um, I'm just, I'm just going to smoke my pipe. Do you guys I, are there? I haven't revealed until now. <laughs> 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 I know, a big character moment. Character secrets. Yeah. What an uh, invasion. <laughs> uh, Mina might have some playing cards in her trouser pocket. Pierre's going to just smoke and have a couple more drinks. Yep. And uh, You win, father? I, I, I don't play cards. I, this is... You know, it's close to gambling. All right. You're not the, the most stereotypical <laughs> Irishman I've ever met, I have to say. Why, why is that? You don't drink, uh, you don't gamble. Uh, you do fight, though, so that's uh, fair enough. Uh, One out of three isn't bad, <laughs> as far so as true. stereotypes are concerned. <laughs> that's correct. So I'm just going to uh, keep playing solitaire and uh, yeah, wait until yep. it gets mm. kind of closer to... And half an hour passes. Still not? I think there's a, there's a kind of a... Not dread, but there's a tension, I think... We, we, we're flying into danger mm. together and we're not quite trusting each other. So. 45 minutes passes. Oh mm. no. Is there got a phone? Can you call Virginia? Mobiles don't exist. Mm. No, but is, the, is there a, like a, a building? It's, a, it's yeah. abandoned. Ah, bugger. They would have mm. cut phone lines. An hour passes. Well, <laughs> Alright then, let's head off. It seems, uh, no seems Virginia, insane. No extra crony. No mm. parcel. Well, well hey, uh, I need to be off at five. When they said to go, we got to go. 
All right. You're either on the plane or you're not on the plane. Wasting light. Let's get out of here. Just get on the plane. What do people need then? What are we down? Uh, another mm. box of uh, cartridges for my mm. rifle uh, and something uh, to eat in case we are stranded on this island mm. for quite mm. a while. Open eyes and a uh, rollicking sense of adventure. Oh, wait. <laughs> we already have this. Never mind. What do you need guns for when you got these guys? She holds up her fists. I realize it's an audio podcast. <laughs> <laughs> I thought she was going to hold up her actual guns. <laughs> Pew, pew, pew. <laughs> so you guys fires all the rounds she's got into the air <laughs> with a slight sense of dread. You don't know why Virginia usually does turn up. Mm-hmm. She's usually on the ball. That's but worrying. You can't you can't tarry. And to be perfectly honest, you don't know how much on the clock you are. You've mm. got someone that's missing, maybe, and you've got people that you're chasing. So mm. you really don't have that time mm. to. And they were talking about something about the world being consumed in fire. Oh, and, and sacrifice. Yeah, probably should. Just sort that out. And kind of as you <laughs> as you bundle onto the plane, Jörn, you've got your you've got your briefcase of things. Yeah, it's more like a duffel bag. Yep. But yeah, 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 yeah. Your, your duffel bag. Yep. Um, and you you bring your tome. I do, father, and my Bible. Yeah, and Pierre. my gun and my hunting knife. You've got your flask, I assume. He's got his flask. He's got his cane. He's got his uh, unwavering uh, glare. <laughs> Damina, you've got your, uh, you do have your guns. And I got my garrote, and I got uh, logic and reason. This one's logic, and this one's reason. <laughs> <laughs> and, she, and she points to her fist. As she, yeah, as she shakes her fist. Yeah, and, like um, I said. <laughs> as, Jimmy, uh, as Jimmy is clicking switches and checking everything is ready, he studies the map once more, kind of just stands up and turns around and goes, you know, this is very close to where Ambrosia Island is, right? <laughs> <laughs> Fantastic. <laughs> All right, then. Take us there. Is that yeah, where, is that's that where, where you're we're going? going. Yeah, go there all the time. We, you know, the Sagenarios, they do, they do import and export to Ambrosia Island. It's kind of a, it's kind of a, a good trade route. Yeah, I know this well. Uh, what are you looking at me for? Import's not my business. <laughs> all right? Uh, you do your business and you let other people do their businesses. Fucking hell. Can I do like a world history check to be like, is, is Ambrosia Island like part One of the, uh, the non-existent UN? <laughs> it's a bustling you're metropolis. Like, <laughs> that's exactly right. Do a history check. No wrong. Oh, Go for a history check. History that's check. Ambrosia Island. <laughs> <laughs> Australia. <laughs> Oh, Ambrosia! <laughs> oh. Okay, I, I, um, exe- I got hard, uh, sorry, exceptional success. Exceptional? Is that a hard or an extreme? Extreme, extreme. Extreme success. It is not a known place, but what you do know when you start to think about it is that there is an organization called the Ambrosia Foundation. That is a foundation that has a little bit more kind of clout, and you do know that they have a lot of fingers and a lot of pies. They are kind of predominantly a charitable organization, also have a few political leanings. You do know you, uh, John, that this might come about through talks with Hyun, is that um, it's reasonable to assume that they... I'll, I'll explain this from the book. I have a history of 75, and I rolled a two. Dang. Golly. <laughs> you couldn't roll a fucking one. <laughs> Uh, uh, <laughs> look, <laughs> Phil, hey. I admit <laughs> I'm a fucking piece of shit. Yeah, yeah, as, as long as you admit it. Yeah, yeah, on yeah. mic. Yeah. <laughs> on mic, yeah. yeah. Please please speak that into the mic clearly <laughs> for the record. Chris Bonds, born 3rd of February 1991, is a piece of fucking shit. I, I don't know why there was such a big thing. Like, Kill him. I think that's what Chris says every morning. That's his mantra <laughs> when he, he gets looks up. in the mirror. Uh, yeah. Look at yes. uh, It's my alarm. <laughs> <laughs> I can really believe that. Piece of shit, wake up. Piece of shit, wake up. <laughs> and when I wake up, so I'm like, John, that's me. You make a few connections. And it's still it's still something you're just positing, but it kind of does line up. The Ambrosia Foundation is a wealthy, socially progressive, pro-scientific and secularist political organization that has a transcontinental reach. And one of the things that they actually promote is scientific research projects beyond what is kind of accepted in the scientific community. They have an endless amount of financial reach and they promote science above both religion and the occult. It's rapture. Yeah, and to that end, you remember rumblings through Europe that um, one thing that the Ambrosia Foundation had kind of uh, instituted over the past five, ten years is a, a secure place, an unknown place where they are free to indulge some of these scientific experiments. Mm. So it's not... The Ambrosia Foundation itself is not something that is on the tongue of the Every. entire Western world. Yeah. For the people that know it, they know it. And they do have a reach that is global. Mm-hmm. And uh, because of this long plane ride, we talk about how at the expo, 
I was approached yes. for my expertise and the, I invited by, by Joan to go, but yeah, it's my I, mother I, and I, I, I just decided I, to stay. So. I divulge everything about it. I'm not, that's not, I'm not secret keeping on that one. Mm-hmm. Um, mm-hmm. You guys know that. You yeah. know that it, the, the Ambrosia organization is, it's an organization? Is that yeah, it's, 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 it's kind it's, of hard uh, because... Ambrosia Org? Or Ambrosia they're, they're, Foundation. They are literally foundation, foundation. They are a foundation that basically their their ethos is the betterment of mankind. Well, uh, they uh, <laughs> seem to be strongly connected to these uh, evil cultists, so I think perhaps they might be a bit uh, disingenuous. What what you do know is that they are very, and the reason you know this is because you are a man of the cloth. Is that they are very strictly opposed to both religion and occultism in all its forms. Yep, I, I again divulge that to the group. It's not completely unreasonable to assume that Ambrosia Island might be thus, and as Jörn, I believe, pointed out, is what does Ambrosia mean? It's the food it's of, fruit of the, the gods. gods. Food of the gods yeah. promotes kind of knowledge and wisdom in all things. Food of the Ugh. gods? Uh, you haven't eaten my nonsense. <laughs> you haven't had Tony's my bruschetta. My lasagna. <laughs> anyway. Sorry. <laughs> There's a, we, we, we kind of zoom out to a map of the world and we see the tiny airplane and we're intercutting, fading in and out of you guys talking with one another as we pass over the river and there's a nice bit of music composed by Paul Goodman. <laughs> <laughs> I hate this bit. <laughs> and plays sick. over. Three in a back. No. <laughs> and eventually, as you're heading over, Jimmy all of a sudden says after a, a long day after a long long day you don't stop in London you just a straight shoot well he knows where he's going so he we're just happy going. for him to just fly us there right we are that's it that's it down there peer out the window you peer out the window and you see a very very large island oh so probably I mean you're looking at the size of um let's if we use context KI Mel- uh, yeah KI how, how big is KI I was trying to think in comparison to like the Melbourne CBD the size of a large city is probably an easy way to look at it. Like New York. The yeah. size of New York. New York's a good... Yeah. yeah. New York. The state of New York. The uh, state of New York extends into the, the, the land. Yeah. So the, um, the New York Island. Yeah. New, uh, New York city, yeah, right? New York Island's a good one yeah. for it to be. That's pretty sizable. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. yeah. And the first thing you notice is its most striking feature, which it is very clearly, it has a horseshoe yep. shape forest around this side which looks very unnatural it's just like everything else is kind of in the center you can see there is an airstrip Mm -hmm. at the very center there's also a docking port for for boats and such can we see any buildings yeah yeah you can see buildings much further into the middle what looks like a town a very bustling cbd type like modern like modern architecture kind of thing well yeah yeah yeah. yeah. i mean to the time yeah mm. yeah and but and you also see in the first few minutes inland where you're heading is there is like a barracks of sort there's a big mansion on the right hand side and jimmy starts to take the plane down just in case we want to re Phrase it. New York Island is called Staten Island. Of course, uh, yeah. Not New York Island. New York Island. <laughs> New York Island. Well, back in the 30s, you see. <laughs> it's called New York <laughs> Island. <laughs> what the fuck we want. Well, uh, it was called New Amsterdam originally. It was. Uh, yeah. And uh, if any of our listeners are uh, reclaim it? over 70 years old, they can dispute us, but otherwise it was originally called New York Island. <laughs> 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 right. Yes, so Staten Island. Great. Right. Is yeah. what we're referencing. Cool. Referencing. Um, so Jimmy takes you down. You uh, land on the strip. It's it's a bit, bit of a bumpy, it jolts, and then it slowly comes to a stop. Oh! <laughs> oh! Oh, good stretch. <laughs> oh, would anyone like a cup of tea? We're on a plane. <laughs> hey, there's always time for a cup of tea. Jimmy bustles out, opens the door, steps Unfolds out. Unfolds the steps. Yep. Yep. And then you hear silence. Well, we get out of the plane and <laughs> step down onto the tarmac. What time is it? You step down on the tarmac, and you're greeted to... 30 men and women with rifles pointed oh, God. directly at the four of you. <laughs> Five of us. Yes. Well, Jimmy's with them now. He's, he's on the other side. He's uh, like, he's, he's like watching them. He's like, oh, okay. Like, yeah. Uh, he's not with them. Sorry. Back in the plane. <laughs> <laughs> Roll to Cast Ambrosia Island is a Baby Beard Media production. 
Find us on Facebook, Twitter and Instagram and all our podcasts are on Spreaker, Spotify, YouTube and all good podcatchers. You can support us on Patreon at www.patreon.com forward slash babybeard. Pulp Cthulhu and all associated properties are trademark of Chaosium Inc. Used with permission. Listening to a Robots Radio podcast. Smart shows for interesting people. Check out all the shows at robotsradio.net. My name is Brian Burton. It's been 26 years since the bombs fell. And since I've left the vault, I've been trying to rebuild. This isn't the Appalachia that I remember. There's so much more to everything going on. And I promise to find the answer. So if you're out there, if you're listening, just hone in on these coordinates. Remember, there's a place for you at the end. Omega. The Omega Broadcast Fallout Story is available on iTunes, Spotify, and many great podcasting sources.